Hello, young lions. My name is Kevin Gemignani. I'm one of the associate principals at New Berlin Eisenhower. On behalf of our building principal, Matthew Buckley, and my colleague and associate principal, Christine Springer, we welcome the class of 2026. A couple months ago, we had planned on having you visit for half the day to learn more about your school and the Ike community. Unfortunately, we have to do it virtual. Before we begin the tour, I would like to congratulate you on the perseverance and the courage and the strength that you've shown these last couple months as we've done our best together to make sure that we're ready and prepared to welcome you as our latest class of seventh grade students. I'd also like to take an opportunity to thank your teachers, your building administrators, and the paraprofessionals that have worked hard and tireless to make sure that you're ready for this important and exciting transition. You're gonna meet some people here at Eisenhower that are committed, that care about you, not just about your grades and your learning, but you as young people. We trust that this next year is gonna be exciting. It's gonna be full of celebrations, and we know that you will continue the tradition of success here at New Berlin Eisenhower. Again, class of 2026, we welcome you to your new home. Seventh graders to Eisenhower, I am Miss Henninger and I am middle school math. I'm Miss Wasowski and I'm middle school math. I'm Mrs. Bueller and I'm middle school and high school math. So I just kind of want to start this meeting with a quick introduction of what it's going to kind of look like when you enter a math classroom. So um, main topics that you guys are going to have to do is come prepared, ready to take notes and um, be prepared to work on some practice problems to make sure you're understanding concepts and then um, ask your questions and also be prepared to have homework every single night. Um, some of the things that we'll cover in seventh grade is we'll look at um, proportions and percents. We'll do some more work with integers and fractions and decimals um, and we'll start the kind of beginnings of algebra with some equations. We'll also touch on geometry topics that you did in sixth grade and just enter in some new shapes, so surface area and volume. Um, and we'll also do some probability and statistics. Cool. My name is Mrs. Arts, and for fun, I love to go outside with my girls and we like to watch the birds. Hey, future seventh graders, I'm Mrs. Dutloff. I'm super excited to meet you. Um, in my spare time, I like to be outside with my own kids. I have two boys, and we love to be outside at our family's lake house. So we like swimming and water skiing and hiking and boating. <clears throat> Hi, future seventh grader students. This is Mr. L. Mansuri, and I am one of the science teachers here at middle school. Uh, in my spare time, I like to play soccer with my son, and I like to go fishing. Next year, you guys are going to learn about uh, some major concepts in, in seventh grade. And that starts with an introduction to science, which is a unit in which we will learn about lab safety and the scientific method mainly. Uh, after that, we're gonna start learning about chemistry, which is a physical science. And then we're gonna start, and then we learn about earth science and then populations and ecosystems. Hey, some expectations we have for US seventh grade students at Eisenhower is active engagement with science class. That means we'd like to see you participating, asking questions, maybe helping out fellow classmates if they have questions. We also expect that you follow all lab safety rules the whole year. Um, another expectation is that you access and use our online textbook resource with fossweb.com your teachers will provide you with the username and password. Another expectation for seventh grade science is that you access Power School Learning System. You will see assigned tasks, notes, discussion boards, and in addition, academic honesty. Whether we are in class or virtual, the expectation is that you are completing the work on your own individually, unless your teacher specifically says that you can work with a partner, the expectation is that you're completing the work Hello. If you have any questions about your coursework, make sure that you're reaching out to your teacher. Okay, students, the skills that we're going to be working on next year, uh, we want to make sure that you guys are good readers and that you can understand and make meaning with what you're reading. 
So we'll be doing lots of practice with that. We'll also be doing a lot of writing where we're going to focus on using claims, evidence, and reasoning to do our writing. We'll be taking data and interpreting data and graphing data and learning how to read data. And we will also be designing experiments that will allow us to be able to answer questions. Team at New Berlin Eisenhower. Um, my name is Miss Kirby. I teach seventh and eighth grade English. And it is a well known fact that I despise the smell of Fritos. They are just the most disturbing thing to me. I'm going to pass this on and go ahead. Hi, I'm Miss Schaefer. Um, I also teach seventh and eighth grade English. My classroom is actually on the first floor of the school building, so not in the basement where you'll be with your other teachers. Um, a fact about me, I would say is that I really love healthy fitness and nutrition type things. Those are probably like my second passion outside of teaching. Hello, I am Mrs. Cutmas and I'm located downstairs in room 142. I also teach both seventh and eighth grade English and I'm so excited to meet and work with you. Something interesting about me is that I live in New Berlin and my children attend school here in the school district. So what is a typical day like at Eisenhower for a seventh grade student? So on a given day, we do a combination of it all. We read, we write, work on vocabulary, grammar, research, and presentations. And we classes, we have expectations of what we want a good Eisenhower student <laughs> person in general to be like. So we want you to be kind, to be able to listen to others and be open-minded, to be ready to learn with and from each other, and to be proud of your work each and every day. On that work, I always tell my students, and I'm sure Ms. Kirby and Ms. Cutman tell their students as well, you need to reach out to us as soon as possible. That is what email is for. You can also reach out to your peers to ask questions. And honestly, you can reach out to any three of us because we do a lot of the same things and we do understand each other's work. So please make sure that you're reaching out to someone if you have questions about your work, but you will be expected to do work outside of classroom that will outside of the classroom that will count towards your grade. Um, that being said, we're super with you this coming fall and we can't wait to do that. Hello everybody. My name is Mr. Buckley. I'm the proud principal here at New Berlin Eisenhower and I hope you're doing great. I can't tell you how excited we all are to have you watch this video and maybe learn a little bit more about New Berlin Eisenhower getting ready for that seventh grade year that we know you're anxious to start. Doesn't matter to us whether you're coming from Ronald Reagan or Orchard Lane, Poplar Creek or Elmwood or maybe even somewhere outside of the district. We are just excited that as far as we're concerned, you're all going to be lions. So welcome into the herd. Uh, we look forward to the great things that your class will do. We look forward to the learning that's gonna happen and we look forward to helping you plan and organize for your futures. We know you have a tremendous future in front of you and we look forward to everything you're gonna contribute to this wonderful school. I look forward to meeting you. Please let us know if you have any questions and we'll see you soon. Take care. Seventh graders, we are the Student Services Department and we want to tell you a little bit about what we do here at Eisenhower. Hello, my name is Mr. Anoy and I'm a school counselor. I currently work with students with the last names A through HE. As counselors, we'll help you plan for the future by helping you learn more about yourselves, your interests, and explore future career opportunities. Hi, my name is Mrs. Meese. I'm also a school counselor and I work with students with last names HI through O. As counselors, we also help students with academics. We work with you to make sure that you're taking the right courses and that you're getting the academic support you need. Hi, my name is Mrs. Losey and I'm a school counselor as well. I work with students with last names P through Z. As counselors, we also help with social and emotional concerns. Whether it's issues with friends, family, or classes, we're here to listen and help. Hi, my name is Ms. Johnson and I'm the school social worker. I work with all the students here at Eisenhower. Students often request to meet with me when they are having issues with friends, problems at home, when they're sad, when they just need someone to talk to, or someone who will listen to their concerns. 
The Student Services Office is centrally located on the upper level right next to the Commons. We look forward to seeing you in the fall. Goodbye. My name is Mrs. Chart, and I am a member of the PE department at Eisenhower. This will be my fourth year teaching, and I am teaching a combination of eighth grade classes along with some high school classes, including nutrition and individual sports. Hello, everyone. My name is Miss Hogan. Um, I teach health and PE at Eisenhower. So some of the big classes that I'll be teaching this upcoming school year, I'll have a couple sections of eighth grade health and PE. I teach lifeguarding and then um, just a couple other high school elective classes. And uh, I'm very excited to meet and get to know all of you as you make your way through Eisenhower. And this is my, this will be my seventh year teaching this year. Hi, future Ike Lions. My name is Ms. Reichart. Um, this is going to be my 10th year overall teaching and my second year at Eisenhower. Um, this coming school year, I will be teaching uh, team sports and seventh graders. Hey, everybody. My name is Mr. Sawinski. I've been at Eisenhower since 2006. I teach mostly high school FIAD classes, a lot of the fitness classes, uh, the BFS, the online PE. I also coach football and baseball, and I look forward to working with everyone when you make it to the high school. Hello, everybody. My name is Mr. Fitzgerald. I'm the Director of Athletics and Activities here at Eisenhower, and I've been so for the last seven years. Uh, first and foremost, welcome to Eisenhower, and congratulations. Uh, you get to spend the next several years at one of the best schools in the state of Wisconsin, bar none. Um, we have countless staff members, coaches, advisors uh, that are willing and able to, to help you every single step of the way, whether it be in the classroom or your extracurricular activities. Um, in my role, I work exclusively with extracurricular activities, and from the moment you get on campus, you're going to have a wide variety of, uh, of offerings that, that will be available to you, and I'm hoping that you take the time um, to review what, what are offered for, for seventh and eighth graders. Um, and certainly if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact myself, Mr. Fitzgerald, or any of our coaches. Or this is virtual step up day for your introduction to C2 careers and communications. So let's get started. I'm Mrs. Carolis Michael, and I've been teaching C2 for several years now. It's about five, I believe. And one thing I love about teaching seventh graders is your enthusiasm. You're so ready to take things on. Um, so let's talk about what C2 is. It's a year long class that meets, meets one to two times per week, depending on your schedule with PE. If we are working with online learning, then we meet two times a week. One of the major areas that we explore is careers. So we learn about what it takes to be successful in any career, as well as some potential opportunities for you that you might enjoy in the future. We also learn a lot about communications. A big part of that is digital communication. For instance, how to work on an online message board, as well as communicate via email with your teachers and your fellow classmates. We also look at discussion skills, both in person and online. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Donlin. Welcome to C2. I've been working at Eisenhower for 14 years, and this is my second year teaching C2. So um, what do I like about seventh graders? I think what I like most is your willingness to try new things. So um, hopefully we'll be doing a lot of that. We will be doing a lot of that this year. Hello, seventh graders. My name is Miss Schlegel and I love you guys because you are so full of energy. Uh, resources for this class. The first resource that we use in this class is called Zello. Zello is a really cool website. It's kind of like um, an interactive website where you guys get to take a lot of surveys to figure out um, information about yourselves and learn more about you. Zello also has a lot of resources on different careers that we are going to explore. Another resource that we use in C2 is an awesome book called Top 20 Teens. This book has a lot of really interesting chapters and articles about how to be a successful student in middle school. 
we cannot wait to meet you guys. We are excited to learn more about you and your interests and your hobbies. And we hope that you guys um, enjoyed meeting us and we look forward to the fall. Can't wait to meet everybody. Bye. Bye. See ya. For the Eisenhower World Language Department. Bonjour tout le monde. Je suis Madame Dubreau. I am Mrs. Dubreau, your Eisenhower French teacher. Buenos dias. Soy Señor Bosetsky. I am a Spanish teacher here at Eisenhower. Hola. Soy Señora Salmon, and I am another Spanish teacher at Eisenhower. Hola, buenos dias. I am Señora Taylor, and also a Spanish teacher at Eisenhower. We all want to welcome you to Eisenhower. We're very excited to meet you in the fall and get you started on learning whatever language you choose. The minute you walk into our classrooms on day one, we'll be eagerly awaiting all of you and you'll be able to practice your listening skills, your reading skills, your speaking skills, your writing skills, and your conversational skills. I look forward to meeting each and every one of you as you continue on your journey of language learning, whether it be French or Spanish. As you progress through learning a language, you'll have the opportunity to earn college credits for the work that you're doing in high school through retroactive credits, the CAP program, and also AP credits. So while college may seem like it's in the distant future, um, we're here to support you um, and save time and money in college. Don't forget there'll be other opportunities outside of the classroom to enjoy and continue your French and Spanish language and cultural connections through Spanish Honor Society, French Honor Society, French Club, field trips, food tasting, activities in class, and even travel abroad. We have trips to Peru, Costa Rica, France, and others in the future. So whether we meet you next year in seventh grade or in eighth or ninth grade as you begin your languages, we want to welcome you warmly to language learning at Eisenhower. Merci, a bientôt, and welcome. Bienvenidos. Adios. Adios. I teach Art 7 at Eisenhower Middle School. I predominantly teach projects that are 2D in nature. Hello, I'm Ms. Baradic. You will have both of us as your art teachers in Art 7, and I will predominantly teach 3D art mediums. We're a creative community that focuses on process, as art can be and mean many different things. You should come to class with your curiosity and a willingness to try new things, develop good studio habits, and support and encourage your classmates. We both are looking forward to working with all of you in our class. We're just finishing up the current school year and I'm sure you haven't thought too much about next year, but I do want to talk to you a little bit today about what you can expect from middle school social studies. My name is Mr. Byrne and along with Mr. Woodring, we are the two middle school social studies teachers. Next year as a seventh grader, you'll be taking a class called Social Studies 7. It's basically a geography class. The class starts with an in-depth look at the basic skills of geography, things like making maps and legends, latitude and longitude. From there, we'll look at the different continents of the world uh, using physical and political maps. The main focus of this class is looking at different social issues from around the world. Things like crime, overcrowdedness, poverty and population density. Our main focus in the middle school social studies department is to get you prepared for high school social studies. We look forward to working with you uh, at one point or another, in either next year or in the next two years in middle school as we both teach the eighth grade class as well. Have a great summer.
Hello, incoming seventh graders. We are your wheel teachers, and we're here to talk a little bit about wheel. My name is Ms. McKinnon, and I teach the gateway portion of the wheel class. The gateway portion focuses a lot on the design process and then prototyping. So you'll get to use some tools, some machines, um, computer design, each of those in the gateway section of the wheel. I'm Mrs. Dobner, and I teach the graphics section of the wheel. Um, in our class, you're going to learn how to design things using vector graphics on Adobe Illustrator, do some photo editing with Adobe Photoshop, and page layout with Adobe InDesign. And then we'll also do some screen printing, some dye sublimation to make some t-shirts, and vinyl stickers. I'm Richard Chamberlain. I teach the computer science portion of the wheel. So we'll learn about computer programming in two different languages, uh, Scratch, which is sort of a cartoony language, and then Python with Turtle, where you're going to make drawings. We'll also do some web development where you'll create web pages uh, based on content areas that you, that you like. So you'll actually rotate through all three of us. Um, first quarter, make sure you check our, your schedule to see which part of the wheel you're going to start with. Um, my room and Mr. Chamberlain's room, so Gateway and Computer Science, is upstairs past the office. And then Graphics is downstairs near a lot of your other middle school classes. So we are very excited to meet all of you come this fall. And hopefully, if you have any questions, you'll reach out. And have a great summer. Welcome future Eisenhower Lions. We are very excited to have you at New Berlin Eisenhower. I am Mrs. Berchi. I teach choir. So I teach seventh through 12th grade. I have seventh grade, eighth grade choir. Uh, when you get into high school, concert choir, treble choir, and acapella. We have some other things that meet uh, before and after school and during the middle of the day. And what else should I say? Oh, we have a middle school production that we do each year, but I will talk about that later with my other teammate. On to you, Mr. Kimball. Hi, I'm Mr. Kimball. I'm the orchestra teacher, so I teach orchestra from 7th to 12th grade. Um, next year, we'll have a ton of fun in 7th grade orchestra, and I can't wait to meet you. Hi, my name is Mr. Meisel. I am the band director. I teach 7th grade band, 8th grade band, and high school band. 7th grade band, you can expect to have a lot of fun, and you also have the opportunity to do jazz band and solo ensemble. When you get to high school, we have marching band, pep band, and more jazz band. So I can't wait to meet you and uh, get playing next year. I'd like to thank you for joining us on this tour of New Berlin Eisenhower. To our rising seventh graders and their families, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to myself, Mr. Buckley, Ms. Springer, or any of the wonderful staff members that you met on this tour. My best to you as you close out your sixth grade year and we look forward to seeing you in the fall. Take care.